Jesus Christ. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Good morning. Pagbati po natin ng good morning, mga katabi natin. Good morning. Good morning, good morning po. Morning, morning. As I mentioned earlier, we celebrate today the solemnity of the ascension of Jesus. We recall today the day when Jesus ascended into heaven. Ang pagakyat ni Jesus sa langit. And you know, this is part of our profession of faith. This is part of the Apostles' Creed. Sa tuwing ipinapahayag natin ang ating pananampalataya, lalo na tuwing nagsisimpa tayo ng linggo, pagkatapos ng pamilya, and we are to profess our faith, the Apostles' Creed, this is part of it. Jesus ascended into heaven. Can you recite it? Di ba? Sabi ng ating uh, profession of faith, I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Can you continue? Born, suffered, and the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the death, and the third day he rose again. He ascended to the dead. Parang di yata kayo sure doon sa ascended into heaven. <laughs> Biglang nawala. <laughs> he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come. He rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. Seated at the right hand of the Father. Sa kanyang pagkakyat sa langit, siya'y naloklok sa kanan ng Diyos Ama. So the question is, what is the significance of the ascension of Jesus? What is the importance and what is the message of this mystery, the ascension of Jesus into heaven for us today as we celebrate the ascension Sunday? Well, kung titignan natin, this is exactly 40 days after Easter. This is exactly 40 days after Jesus rose from the dead. At kagaya ng lagi nating sinasabi, every numerical figure in the Bible has a significance. Lagi ko natin itong dinidiscuss tuwing kuwaresma. Diba? Kuwaresma. 40. 40 in the Bible means transition. It is a transition period. Kung paanong nagpaulan ng Diyos, 40 days and 40 nights during the great flood, it is a transition from the time that God punished the earth to the transition period na ang Diyos nangako na hindi niya kailan pa no, parurusahan ang mundo. It's also the same when Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, it is a transition period going to the beginning of his public ministry. It's also the same in the ascension. It is a transition period. Ano bang nangyari? Sa pag-akyat ni Jesus sa langit, this time, the apostles will begin their mission. Okay? In the ascension of Jesus, it is the birth, the birth and the beginning of the mission of the disciples. Sa kanyang pag-akyat sa langit, isinilang ang mission ng mga alagad. And you know, my dear friends, it is very clear in today's gospel. Napaka-clear ng mission na ibinigay ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad. The gospel says, Go therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hindi po natin may paghihiwalay ang ascension sa mission. 
Kagaya ng isang taong lilisan, kagaya ng isang taong pansamantalang aalis, e eh, wari po, kung tangin na itong matao, lumawit siya, makoya, o kaya magbiyaya, sigurado at inyong panabilin. At inyong panabilin. At inyong pakisabi. At inyong lakuwang instruction. So, so the same with Jesus. Before He ascended into heaven, He gave the eleven disciples a mission. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Isang malinaw na kailangan na, isang, isang bagay na kailangan malinaw sa atin. This mission has been extended to us. Hindi lamang to iniwan at binigay ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad. Ito'y ipinasa ng mga alagad sa atin. Ngayon, magandang tanungin natin ng ating mga sarili, Are we fulfilling this mission? Are we fulfilling this mission that God has entrusted to us on the day Jesus ascended into heaven? Go therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Sa palagay po ninyo, ginagawa po ba natin? Yes or no? Nawala ang mga nagsisimba. Ginagawa po ba natin ito? Yes or no? Let's examine it closely. Go Make disciples of all, all nations. Bibigyan ko po kayo ng isang, sabihin na nating uh, sukatan. Habang kayo po yung nakaupo, maaari niyo po bang tignan ang buong paligid, lalo na yung mga upuan sa katabi ninyo. Tignan niyo po yung mga upuan sa paligid ninyo. Eh, sige. Yung mga nasa harap, tingin sa likod. Yung nasa likod, tingin sa harap. Okay. Yeah. Ibigyan ko kayo ng isang pamantay o sukatan. Nakita po ninyo? Ano pong nakita ninyo sa mga upuan? Bago. <laughs> Maganda yung kulay. <laughs> ano pong napansin ninyo sa mga upuan? Ha? May mga ha? May mga? Pakilakas po? Oh, kayo po nagsabi yan. May mga bakante. There are empty chairs. There are empty spaces. Okay? Why? Why? I will accept the answer, the reason. Then po nga liwa among si Simbala po ngayon ni Dolores. Then po nga liwa, Simbala po po tanggat pa na po. Aside from those reasons, <laughs> busy lang po. What else? The counting. Alam po ninyo. Ito ha, pinag-uusapan po ang mission. Ano ho? Kahit magpasensus tayo ngayon, kung ilan po mga katoliko dito sa Villa Victoria, I think most, some of you are not even residents here, no? Ah, sa palagay ba ninyo, may kalahati ang mga nagsisimba sa mga katoliko sa Villa Victoria? Sa palagay po ninyo? Wala po, no? Sa palagay po ninyo? What do this empty chairs, empty spaces, Mean. 
as a sign that we are still far from the fulfillment of this mission. We are still far from the fulfillment of this mission. As long as you see empty chairs, empty spaces inside the church, not just here, that implies that we are still far from the fulfillment of our mission and that we should double our effort to do our mission. Tayo ba'y contento na na tayo-tayo lang ang nagkikita-kita tuwing linggo? Tayo ba'y sapat na o contento na, masaya na, na tuwing linggo, tayo-tayo lang ang nagsisimba? No? Jesus said, Go into the whole world and make disciples of all nations. The word go is very important. Because the word go is a verb. It is an action word. Something that we must do. Kaya nga, in the old form, in the old form of the Mass, ang sinasabi ng pare, ite misa es. In the Latin form. Ite misa es. What is the meaning of ite misa es? Literally translated as, the Mass is done. The mass is done. Nga tapong katumpangan, in miso meyari ne. The mass is ended. Ite misa es. Doon po galing ang salitang misa. It came from the word mission. Go. The mass is ended. Go. That means our mission happens not inside the church. It happens the moment we step out of the doors of the church. Again, our mission happens, it takes place not inside the church, but when we step out of the church and we give witness to what we have celebrated. The moment we invite people, we bring the unchurch into the church. That is the fulfillment of our mission. That's why, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the ascension of the Lord, as we celebrate the giving, the birth of our mission to go to the peripheries, to go to the corners of the world, let us also be reminded of our common mission. Hindi lang natin mission ang magsimba, kundi akayin ang iba na magsimba at ilapit sila sa Diyos. That is the fulfillment of our mission. Go, the Lord says, make disciples of all nations. My dear friends, it should be our goal, it should be our common aspiration that these empty chairs, that these empty spaces will soon be filled in by people who also belong to the church. For this is the very spirit of our mission. Bala mo pa niya nalaman milyari next Sunday. Hindi nung kinig ang mulga rin. Let's invite our families, our relatives, our loved ones to go to the church. Let's begin in our own backyard. Sige. I ironic nga, go to the whole world, pero we'll, we'll begin our own backyard. No, ironic nga yun, eh, no? Contradictory pa. Let's begin with our own backyard. Oh, let's begin with our own community. Oh, let's make it smaller. Begin with our own household. Sa bagay, nung ima mo, pinitatang mo din kapatid, kung makasakit mo nung agkatsi mo, ba din pa kayang sipi mong pan, eh? Yeah? And you know, this is the inconvenient truth. This is an uncomfortable and inconvenient truth. But it is a slap on our face so that we will wake up. It is an eye-opener for us that we are still far 
from the fulfillment and completion of this mission. But remember, when Jesus ascended into heaven, He promised and He gave an assurance to His disciples that as they fulfilled their mission, and as we also fulfill in this mission, He is with us. For Jesus said, I am with you always until the end of the age. Amen. Neil Rose.